Good Monday evening, everyone. I'm throwing a video in here in the beginning of the week because I'm really excited about the spring garden, but I found out today I can't even start it till March. So I'm going to let y'all know what I'm using to get everything ready. And then I do have a couple of pictures of what I've got out right now. So let me go ahead and get you started with what I do. Okay, y'all, so this year I am using the Joby's Organics All-Purpose Granular Plant Food as my fertilizer this year. I put just a little bit in each bag and each pot. Then this is a little bit different from last year. I'm using the Top Notch Premium Potting Mix and comb combining it with the Soil Mender Garden Soil Builder. Um, the one I got last year is Soil Mender Raised Garden Bed, and that's what I used. I still have some of that left over, so I put some in some of the bags. And then when it comes back in, I'll use that so then I don't have to use both of these. And I might actually use both of these. I kind of like the combo because the Garden Soil Builder is real fine grain, and the Premium Potting Mix has some of that mulch stuff in there that the garden bed, raised garden bed had. So I may just stick with this. <laughs> and then I do collect eggshells throughout um, the fall and into the first part of the winter and this is my bag of dried eggshells. As soon as I'm done uh, fix or using my eggshells I rinse them really well, let them dry out for a day and then I crush them in my ninja so they're all nice and fine and I can just add calcium into my grow bags so let's go over and see what the grow bags look like so here's two grow bags this is the one with the raised garden bed mix you can see it's got quite a few things in here especially bigger pieces like this so kind of bigger pieces of mulch and then here's the new combo and this is the potting soil and the fine soil that I'm using now and so I kind of like it better it seems like it's broken up better especially with this concentrated and as small as my garden is I can just put them in grow bags or small pots so that's what I'm using this year let me know what you're using this year I would love to know how y'all are doing your gardens this year we will catch you in a little bit for the gar not the garden tour <laughs> but for the daily update <laughs> 